Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. I do apologize for no video yesterday. I've been really busy getting back into things. So today I am wanting to pick it up. Um, and today we're looking at a parachuting script, which allows you to have an NPC take you up to a certain height with up to four people on the plane. And then you can automatically jump out of that plane when it reaches its destination, which is kind of cool because sometimes you don't want to have a player actually be the one that is taking you up to parachuting and you just want to be able to all have the ability to jump out without your plane falling to the ground. Um, so this is a good option for that. It's uh, standalone, so you don't need a um, resource to run it or anything. The only requirement is to run a version 4752 or above. Most servers are pretty far above that. I think we're at like five, three five three something now um so as long as you're running a new game build you're pretty much good um and then obviously um it is free there's no payment for this one um and it is also according to the resource author free to modify so feel free to modify it to your liking anyway let's go ahead and download it so they have provide a video as well if you want but all you have to do is just go ahead and click the download link directly on the resource page and it will download as a file and then you're going to open this up with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open it up i'm using winrar myself um in here you can see there is the client the configs fx manifest files all that good stuff in here um so what i'm going to actually do is i'm just going to drag this whole folder into my server data resources folder so i'm just going to drag it in just like that and now when we're inside of our server data resources folder if we take a look at this they obviously have a config file so you can edit this to your liking should debug be on if so what should be the language in here what should be the press whatever your button is um so you can set this obviously down here where should your airport be what should be all the vector coordinates for that um so you can set this up to your liking um or modify it to add more airports or whatever else you want um feel free to use that there um obviously it's the same as any other resource so i'm going to right click rename and then copy the name of this folder and i'm going to go to my server data server.cfg file edit with notepad plus plus and add ensure the name of this resource. There we go, just like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start up my server. Um, if you're on Zap hosting, make sure you're doing this through FTP file access. On TX admin, it's probably your TX data folder. Or if you're on the server data method, it's probably just your server data folder. And then if you say started re resource in here, we know we are good to go. Why don't we hop in game and try it out? All right, so we are in game and you can see the NPC standing over there, but you can also see this icon on the map, which is skydiving. Obviously, this is going to be located at Grapeseed and Sandy because those are the two locations located in the config file. Obviously, you can modify this to your needs. But if we run over to this NPC, I want to go skydiving. I don't know about all of you, but I do. Um, so let's run over to this NPC and uh, let's talk to them. So if we go over here, press E to go for a jump. I'm going to press E and then we're going to go ahead and go for a jump. So you have the nice little text at the bottom. Obviously, you can configure that in the code of the resource. Um, and you'll just go ahead and get through the jump. So they're going to wait for clearance. Once they get clearance, just after a certain set amount of time, we are going to be good to go. So let's see here how long it takes us to take off. There we go. We are now taking off and obviously this plane will be flying itself. And there's a nice little pilot inside of there. And you can have as many people you want do this with you, which is quite cool. So here we go. We are now taking off in this little nice plane. It's kind of dragging a little bit on the ground, but I... I think that will be okay. Probably just the game like being like, what are you trying to do to me? But you know, um, obviously don't worry about all the scraping on the ground because we should be able to take off just before the end of the runway. There we go. We are off the ground. And obviously this pilot's going to fly um, the preset coordinates, um, which are in that file um, to get you pretty high above Sandy for the parachuting. But you can obviously jump out at any point you want, but we're going to actually wait until we are at the top. Well, I tell you why you should subscribe to the channel, because we are um, 10,100 or so subscribers at the moment. So we need to get that number up by the end of the year. I'm, I'm aiming for another 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year with all of your support, because I was looking over the analytics um, the other day, and it says that 96% of people watching aren't subscribed. So please consider subscribing. Um, if we get 20,000 by the end of the year, I guess we can actually go real skydiving. Someone hold me to that in the comments if you watch this part of the video. Anyway, we are almost at um, the altitude above Sandy. So we're just a little bit above Chiliad's altitude now. Um, and if you don't jump out of the plane, it will actually eject you out of the plane. Um, but you can technically jump at any point you want. Um, so there we go. All clear. You can jump. And obviously, if you don't jump, um, you will be forced out. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump just like that. And then the pilot will fly away um into the distance anyway now you can actually parachute free fall free drive whatever you want to call it 
um, down to Sandy, and obviously you have a parachute, so make sure to use it. Um, but yeah, that's this resource, and hopefully it does um, make sense and it's easy to use for you. It's very easy to install. It took me about five minutes. If you're having problems with the game build not working, go watch our Enforced Game Build uh, video. I'll leave a card to it or a link in the description or something um so you can go ahead and review that i'm just gonna go here and land back over at the parachuting uh start location and obviously you can do it over and over again as many times as you want um ow i hit a pole and we have arrived anyway thanks so much for watching um hopefully this did help you have a parachute on your 5m server and um i'll see you in the next video tomorrow hopefully depending on my schoolwork so see you tomorrow everyone Good.